<laughs> yes! Can't get you out of my What's going on everybody, Dragast here, and welcome back to some of the best Besiege creations. So this week has been pretty damn intense in the Besiege creation community. They actually figured out a new way for some super fast propulsion, and it's essentially like a real world scramjet. Essentially what happens here is, as you can see, we have water cannons on the side. If you can get a craft or anything for that matter, to go faster than the water can be pushed out and essentially push the water out behind the cannon, you will make a scramjet, and that is a super fast engine. I don't know, actually know much about it, but that's essentially what they're saying it is creating. So I got a little quad helicopter here, and we're gonna go up, and then we're going to dive bomb, and hopefully I can do this right. Let's engage those engines, and there we go, we have put it into scramjet mode, and it is, as you can see, Jesus Christ! Did I just hit the wall? Anyways, it is a very easy method to go extremely fast. So just essentially dive bomb, turn on your scramjets, and then try and even it out. I'm I, Again, I'm not very good at dirt driving these things. You guys know that. Oh god, I just turned it off accidentally. And we exploded again. Okay, I'm gonna give myself a bit of a bigger runway here because I'm not good at turning these things. I'm sorry, guys. I really do try. Okay, that's as far as we can go. So, again, we're gonna go up. I'm gonna go really high this time because I want to get a good run in um, and I'm going to engage my scramjets and then hopefully go extremely fast. Okay, that looks about good enough. We're going to dive bomb now and get engage the scramjets and explode clearly. Okay, I, I need more room, damn it. Okay, I'm actually gonna slow this down so you guys can really see what's going on here because I think this is really cool and I hope my video kind of explains it well. So we're going to start dive bombing now. Um, and then once we turn on these water jets, you'll see that it actually propels out the back after a certain speed. I want to make sure I'm going fast enough. It's hard to tell when you're going in slow motion. Uh, hopefully this should be about good. So we're going to turn them on. You can see that the water is not able to escape the front of the cannons. And then we got this kind of steam going out at the back. And now we're going extremely fast. Let's go back to 100% here just so you can see. Um, yeah, like that is some serious speed there for a quad rotored... Uh, he helicopter, but yeah, it's a really cool design. There's actually some hovercrafts that have been doing it as well um, And if you want to go fast, it's essentially a jet engine is what it is, and it's really freaking cool And I'm uh, and I'm oddly able to fly it right now <laughs> Holy shit am I ever going fast? Okay, I'm gonna hit the wall if I don't screw up. Okay, there we go Yes, let's freaking try and dive bomb something here. All right dive bomb on the peasants <laughs> That was a fucking quick crash Okay, the next one is a trick car, and this car actually has independent suspension. It's a really nice car, and that's really what intrigued me by it. It's also extremely fast, if you couldn't tell. We got some jumps over here, and some jumps over here, and there's supposed to be some explosions, too, so Michael Bay might be proud of this one. Let's just start off by trying to do a jump here, if we can. Oh, man, this thing is really freaking fast. Holy shit! I didn't expect that one! I didn't hit a button or anything. You're supposed to press a button to do the explosions, but clearly, I just freaking annihilated. It. Let me try again here. Uh, please don't explode. Please don't explode. I just want to do a jump. Just want to do a jump. There we go into the house. Yes. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Holy shit. This is great. Okay, I didn't expect this to be so intense. I'm sorry I'm getting a little excited. Uh, let's go over here. This knight's coming over for me. You must be seeing my ramp. Jesus Christ, I can't even use these damn ramps without them exploding. So there is buttons on these ramps though. So let's see if we can do like a Michael Bay like explosion here. Okay, I'm gonna do this in slow-mo and everything. Hopefully it doesn't explode when I'm on it. We need to do Michael Bay here. Do Michael Bay proud. Okay, I went off a bit on this on the side, but there we go. And explosions. <laughs> oh my god, I, I lost a wheel, but that was so freaking awesome. Oh my god, look at it though. That was fucking majestic, guys. But this is an awesome little trick car. You can see that it is fast enough to really go around and do flips. And of course, it's got those awesome little wheels on its back. Really nimble design. I would like to see more designs based off this chassis. Oh my god. Okay, Core, seriously, you're starting to not even design tanks anymore. This is this is a tank spider, guys. Seriously. It, it <laughs> this is so fucking cool looking. So yeah, this is, as I stated before, another Core tank. Now... <laughs> These, you can't even really call them tanks anymore, they're getting so crazy. But this thing actually is really cool, it can climb up walls and kind of use its creepy little talons to take out houses and whatnot. Let me see if I can get this top house. 
Okay, I'm gonna go up this way. I feel like this is the best spot to get up. There we go. Poke the house. Yes, we got the top one as well. This thing is just horrifying. If you have arachnophobia, I'm sorry. Uh, this is probably the best spider I've seen in Besiege, and I have actually played with a few. So yeah, once again, props to Core for another amazing tank. I will link to her YouTube channel down below as well, because she does make some of the best Besiege creations that I have had a pleasure of spotlighting. So next up we have, as you can see, a very simple design, but a very amazing one at that. This is actually a mortar. We have a helicopter blade that pushes a bomb on top of it. So what, what I mean by that is when it goes, it's just holding the bomb in front of it. And as you can see, it goes a ridiculously long distance. Now, in a perfect world, I could hit this tower, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, wait, 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 wait! <gasps> yes! I fucking did it! Second try! That's actually not even that hard! Look at this thing! This thing is a ama- Oh, wait, wait for me! Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go over here and hope it hits it. Please hit it! Shit! Let's try that again! You- you are gonna hit it right now, right? Right? Nope. Third try is a charm! There we go. Yes! Oh my fucking god, that was perfect! Alright, let, let, let's go from a different angle here. This is freaking awesome! Okay, this is about as good of an angle I can get. You can see it way over there. Let's start flying it. Okay, I'm gonna let go now, and... Assuming I did it right... Oh, we just missed it! Alright, one more try, one more try. There we go, there we go. That's feeling good! Oh my god! It's going a bit to the right for whatever reason. <laughs> yes! That's what I wanted! Oh my god, that felt so good. So here we have another amazingly unique design, and you probably wouldn't even guess what it is, but let's just show you guys. There we go, and it is a grappling hook. Look at that! You can pull this anywhere where you can shoot that. Let's actually go... Um, I'm gonna go... Why, why is this not following it? I'm gonna go try and shoot it up here before these guys, like, annihilate me. So... Let's actually move this up. There we go. Now, hopefully this goes far enough. There we go, and grapple! <laughs> so the one unfortunate part about this design is you can only go as far as the contractable spring can be shot out, which unfortunately isn't that far. Like, I would love to, like, Batman up this thing with a grappling hook, but as you can see, oh my god, I almost actually made it. But it doesn't really go that far. Now, if this thing could go further and I could, like, shoot up to that guy up there and then climb all the way up, that would be freaking awesome. Uh, let me try something else though. I wonder if I can like pull one of these guys over. Ho 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 get over here! I, I did not expect that. That was awesome. Okay, next up we have an actual trebuchet here, which is nice. I haven't seen like a generic trebuchet before. So this takes a little bit to get set up. We actually gotta turn these grabbers down and attach it to the ground. That way we don't flip or do anything crazy. And then we can adjust the power, I believe. Well, I, I, it's hard to tell which way the, is more powerful. If you go this way, you're expanding the spring more. But if you're going the other way, going down, you're getting more pull from the weight. So I think this is probably the way to get more power. So we're good there. So now I can cut this rope with L. There we go. And release the bomb. Wow, I fucking failed hard. But then you're supposed to release the bomb at the right time. And it can go forward. Okay, try number two. Cut that cord and release that bomb. Fucking nailed it. Well, they say three is a charm. Let's hope they're right. Get the hell out of here, sheep. What are you doing? Okay, there we go. Cut it. And fuck, that's not working at all. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Stupid sheep. Oh, I just I just said I was sorry to it, but really, I'm not sorry at all. That's hilarious. Okay, try number 17. Here we go. Yes! Yes, I went too far, but I don't even care. That was so fucking difficult. But that is a nice trebuchet. So yeah, I, I, I gotta appreciate it. It works relatively well when you can figure out how to do it. There we go, I just did it flawlessly. And we blew ourselves up. Okay, maybe not so flawless. <laughs> okay, this is supposed to be Optimus Prime, and I haven't seen a Transformer in a while. There we go, okay. Um, I This actually has three parts to transform it, so... Holy shit, it's working. Is that Optimus Prime? Optimus Prime, is that you? Look it, holy shit. That was actually really awesome. We turned a simple transport truck into it. Let me see if I can do it again, because it does kind of glitch out here. Come on, pull your arms out. Pull it, pull it out. You can do it. You can do, do it. No, you can't. No, oh God, oh God, what is going on? Okay, okay, let's try that again. I'm feeling good about this. One arm's out. For some reason, this arm does not want to get out. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna let it go like that and go to the next one. There we go. Oh, this is one derpy-ass Optimus Prime. 
Fucking nailed it. There's the Optimus Prime I know. Okay, let's start moving forward. Nope, this isn't working. Overall though, like when it does work, it looks really nice. There we go, okay. Arms are good. And moving up the body. There, and bam. I think that's it. <laughs> okay, it was difficult to do. And it's not really a Transformer. I mean, it's a Transformer, but it's not Optimus Prime. That is, it's a walker. It's got, it's still got wheels, but it works well. Um, yeah, a really cool design, and it's nice to see a, tr a Transformer as of late. Okay, here's something I just downloaded on a whim, and it has blown me away. This is a crossbow. Now, let's actually get it set up here. So we want to open it up, that way it stretches out the cords, make it a little bit more tight. And it actually has a, a thing where you can raise it, but you can raise it m multiple times. So we can go like that, and then we can go like that, and then we can go like that! So we can go really freaking high here. This is probably going to go over the uh, castle, but that's okay. So let's shoot it here, there we go, look at that, and it's straight as an arrow every time. I've shot this a few times now, and it works remarkably well. Now, what's truly amazing is this is self-reloading, we can actually reload it. So if we go, uh, one, let's actually aim this thing up, there we go. And now we push it forward, and then just drop it. Perfect, now that is actually loaded once again. So now, because it went a little too far last time, Let's drop this thing. Oh, shit, wrong button. Let's drop this thing down. There we go. That should be a hell of a lot better. And let's aim this up again. So that looks good. And fire in the hole. Let's do this thing. Oh, and we killed a guy. Success. And of course, it's got one more arrow. So let's put that one in there as well. So there we go. Move that in the middle. Move. Oh, shit. Move it in the middle. There we go. Move it forward and drop. Bam. It's a, it's one of the easiest ways to self-reload I've ever seen. Now, I'm actually going to drop this even more because I want to uh, go for the ground guys if I can. So, let's do... Uh, let's... let's uh, That might actually be good. So, I'm going to aim for these guys. That's looking like it's a death wish right now. There we go. Let's attach to it and shoot it. Oh, okay. <laughs> that one didn't work. We had a dud. All right, let's just try this one. Oh, still too high. Okay. Well, that's good to know. So we are actually going to drop it all the way to the ground then by pressing that. And let's reload one more. Hopefully, this is the special one. I, I just want to hit one right in the face with this thing. Uh, forward and drop. Now, sometimes it goes in, sometimes it doesn't. And it goes a bit forward, so it's a little uneven, but still a really cool design. Let's forward that. There we go. Okay, that's good enough. Unfortunately, my, my other spear got in the way, but still... One of the coolest self-reloading designs that I've seen, and it works remarkably well. Like, you just shoot, and automatically it's reset. Shoot, reset. Shoot, reset. Usually it doesn't work that well. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for another episode of the best Besiege creations that I could find for this week of October. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I spent a lot of time looking for these designs, and I think I found some of the best ones out there so far. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for your support. Thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one. Hey, this is a quick message thanking you for watching my video. I hope it gave you literally minutes of enjoyment. I have playlists and videos like this one at the top right of your screen. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or support me on Patreon, the links are in the description of this video. Thanks once again for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one.